Before I begin, I'd like to say thank you to those people who uploaded spoilers of this movie to uh, online and uh, not even covering up the thumbnail and even making the title of those videos those like describing scenes of what happens and yeah so thanks for making so yeah thanks for making me see that before I get to watch the movies <sighs> okay anyways let, let's just get on with this uh, Spider-Man No Way Home is directed by John Wants and so after the events of the previous movie Far From Home now everyone knows that Peter Parker played by Tom Holland is Spider-Man and because of this there have been consequences which um, led Peter go to Doctor Strange and Jen Doctor Strange agrees to help Peter by erasing everyone's mind so basically everyone will forget that uh, Peter Parker is um, Spider-Man and however when the spell doesn't doesn't go exactly as planned and well um of course well, you, if you've seen the trailers this villains from the previous spider-man movies he's suddenly go into this universe just wow um okay so there is a lot to unpack in this movie and unfortunately that's uh, a lot of spoilers and I don't want to spoil anything about this movie, so I shall try my best not to spoil anything about this movie. Anyways, um, I think that this is probably one of the darker um, Spider-Man stories, and as well as very emotional. But it's also a, it's also a lot of fun to watch. It also has some fun actions and some fun comedy in there. Fun comedy mixed in there. It, but overall, I had a great time with this uh, movie. I mean, um, another thing is that the thing is that um, the live action Spider Man movies, anyways, um, has a, a thing about has a thing about having too many villains making the Spider Man movie not that um, great sometimes. Thankfully, this movie is not like any of those because all of the villains in this movie, I feel like they were actually handled handled them pretty well, and and I was actually surprised, especially with uh, Willem Dafoe as. Uh, Reprising his role as Norman Osborn, also known as the Green Goblin, I think he did a wonderful job. It's just, it's just very, he's just very great. Um, the um, one thing that I didn't particularly like is that sometimes the um, dramatic moments kind of, kind of, gets um, sort of ruined I suppose those with some of the um com some of the um comedy in there so sometimes when there is this um this big thing that's happening that's dramatic suddenly a joke comes in and it, and I feel like it doesn't really fit that well that's that's one of my um, biggest uh, issues with this movie but still despite despite that overall I think it's a very fun movie and and I think that fans will absolutely love it I had to blast watching this movie it was super exciting yeah, I really enjoyed it and and I might even watch it again for me I'll give this movie like a 8.3 out of 10 and my recommendation level of a 4 out of 5 this is a very fun movie this was a very fun movie to watch and and I feel like if you're really a fan of spider-man movies you're really going to love this one